hello guys and welcome back to another video if you are new here kindly consider subscribing hit that post notification bell so that you're alerted every time i upload new videos so my name is kate this is kate vlogs i always do videos on plugs hauls lifestyle videos and in today's video i'm going to showcase a mali mali business in kenya welcome so basically this is among the most profitable businesses especially if you want kuomo kambio so if you have that capital and you're looking forward to starting a business and you want a business that will give you profits in hundreds of thousands this is the business to settle for because if you set it up in a very very uh, populated area of this country then we consider you one of the growing millionaires in this republic lucky enough this is one of the businesses you can start with very very little capital and it is possible to set this kind of a business either in a rural setting and urban areas if you are in a, an urban area ensure that you set up this business in residential areas mali kuna ma plot you understand mali kuna ma singles ma doubles ma bed sitters fast growing areas and also if you are in a place where there is a university or a college or any institution that people need to settle in um this is one business that you will never go wrong with other institutions that you should consider when setting up this business is uh, proximity to hospitals proximity to children homes so that people buy these things when they are going to these places and also proximity to secondary schools you know some of the students when they are reporting for school they buy these items karibu na shule so consider setting up this kind of businesses and i'm telling you that people with this kind of businesses pocket up to 800,000 to 1 million every month out of profits Some of the products that are sold in a Mali Mali shop include but are not limited to plastic chairs, sky plus, we have crocs, lipstick, perfumes, lotions, earrings, earphones, batteries, panties, bandanas, buckets of various thermos, cups, pegs, plates, slippers, mosquito nets, hanging lines, zile makamba za kuanika manguo, mattresses, dust bins, laundry baskets, just to name but a few. Also don't forget that if you have a beauty shop or if you have a crocs business shop, consider yourself doing mali mali business. Something that I want you to note down is that the profit margin in a Mali Mali business is not as much as other businesses like the toy business. Um the profit margin is around 30%, but remember these are products that are fast moving and also these are products that somebody does not buy one item. For example, if I want to buy a spoon I'll not buy one spoon. If I want to buy a cup I'll not buy one cup. If I want to buy a sufuria I will not buy one sufuria. So as much as the profit margin is just like about 30%, um you are going to get 30% of profit on each product that that person is buying. So this means that at the end of the day you will be having the highest profit as compared to that person that is getting 100% profit selling one item. I hope you understand what I mean. I haven't said that this business is a walk in the park but remember always give profit by selling your products at a slightly lower price than your competitors. Remember that a supermarket near you is also selling the same products so you should consider lowering the prices of your products by around 5 shillings to 10 shillings and also maintain customers who come to your shop by making sure that you sell only quality products. A well established marimali business can give you half a million every month up to 1 million per month and that is a well established marimali business that mtu ameka capital mzuri yani
you can start this business with even 10,000 shillings up to 50,000 shillings and then gradually make sure that you will keep on adding capital onto your business until it reaches a point where it is sustaining itself make sure that you record everything that the our customers are asking for in your business you had not stopped it also remember that uh, when you're starting that business will not be doing as well as you will feel like it should be doing well but give it time and in a few months to come it will start paying itself i hope when looking for a shop um to set your mali mali business um i just mentioned that you should look for a place that is highly populated even if the shop is expensive so your shop is already jilipe because the profits when the profits start coming in yani that shop will start paying itself that i want you to put in mind is number one always display your products inside and outside that shop if you go to a malimali business right now you'll see that dust beans sky plus season of it is what is going to be display makarai buckets everything is outside and inside when my cousin of it was in here to kidogo kidogo of it was a kosher viombo scoring pads is of it was what is as a kokondani something else that i also want you to note uh, down is that stick as much as possible stick to good quality good quality will always bring more customers because if one person buys uh, the best quality in your shop they will go and tell their neighbors so that is how you're going to maintain um customers in your shop and something the last thing that i also want to share is that um always have the best ever customer language always be polite please maintain customer relations because this is business and a business is communication this video a thumbs up and also make sure that you subscribe if you haven't because more and more very very good plugs are coming your way and i know for sure they are going to be of benefit to you also don't forget to tap the post notification bell so that whenever i post those videos you will be alerted immediately So most of you want to know the wholesale prices of these products and um as i said earlier when i was doing a toy business um plug uh the mali mali business products are as much as those toys they are very very many very very many um so i will also need somebody to send me do that shopping together then let you uh see the receipt see the prices because um most cups cost 12 shillings kuna places are 15 bob so for you na kutapaka za 8 bob dust beans and those things are very very affordable and those are the things that i would want you to start with if you are starting a business because um those are products that move extremely faster new products are also being produced like these stands are latest in kamkunji Uh, among other things that um I will show you in the next plan So I hope that you have learned something about this business if you have any questions kindly write your comments down below I'm going to get back uh, to you and also give this video a thumbs up Say what you want to say to me now I want to wake up with you
are interested in such a business, I hope you had a pen and a paper writing down all the items that you have seen in this video. And um, I hope that you have also learned a lot. If you have kindly like this video, also um, put down your comments on the comment section. Let me know what you feel about the video. Let me know what kind of plugs you want me to do next time. And also um, share this content with your friends. Let others also benefit and learn from these videos. So, uh...